Okay, first you're going to need extra virgin olive oil, virgin coconut oil, and a water spray bottle. I have six ounces of water in this spray bottle. Make sure you get out your clips. And also you want to have a small container that you can melt your coconut oil into your extra virgin olive oil. Dip your fingers into the mixture and begin detangling whatever current hairstyle you have. Here I had my hair in corn rolls. So I used the mixture to help me take out my corn rolls and to also begin applying my pre food. Now this is not the only time that I'm going to apply my pre food. This is just to help me get through the tangles of my corn rolls. Okay, while I'm taking out my corn rolls, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of background information about pre pooing. What is pre pooing and what is it for? Pre pooing is to prepare the hair for the shampooing process, it protects the hair. It helps the hair retain more moisture and or strengthens the hair depending on what products you use. pre pooing can be done overnight or at least 20 minutes before the washing process. Products used in the pre pooing process can vary over a large range. It all depends on what you want to use in your hair. I have seen so many products that have been used in pre poos jojoba oil, castor oil, eggs, honey, different types of conditioners, both strengthening and moisturizing conditioners. It just all depends on what your hair needs. And just find the right pot products that you like to use in your pre poo. Now, for my dry detangling process, I begin by using my fingers only to divide my hair into four sections. After I divide my hair into four sections, I do place them into clips. I will show you how I detangle one section fully using my fingers only. Now, the question might come into play. Why am I doing this? I am doing this to reduce the amount of breakage that I see during my typical detangling process. Finger combing is more gentle. It helps me feel for knots and tangles and I can also apply my pre poo at the same time that I detangle. Now I start applying my pre poo mixture and massage it into my scalp. I then part my hair section by section, apply the pre poo mixture, and finger comb my hair. I continue to do that. Part my hair, apply the pre poo mixture, and finger comb my hair. In my opinion, you cannot detangle transitioning hair the same way that you detangle relaxed or natural hair. Transitioning hair is special because you have two different textures in your hair. Transitioning hair is more prone to breakage because the line where your natural hair and relaxed hair meet, also call, called the line of demarcation, is very weak. So you have to be more careful when you are manipulating your hair. Once I have detangled my hair by finger combing, I start to make plaits in my hair. I do many little plaits, 
so that when I wash my hair, my hair will stick braided up into these sections so that my hair won't get tangled when I'm massaging my scalp during the washing process. Okay, this is my last braid, and now the entire section is plaited, and then my entire head went ahead and fast forwarded for y'all. Now you're going to spray your water to dampen your hair. This will help you retain more moisture and let the oil sink in everywhere they need to work. Place on your plastic cap so that you can do your bagging method, and then a cap or a towel so that your body heat can start working in your hair and it's a sort of deep conditioning. This is how much hair I lost. So yes, I approve of dry detangling and finger combing.